In an address of welcome, the chairman, board of directors, Felix Akabwe, thanked the investor and customers for the confidence reports in the bank thus far. He said the AGM is to look into the 2017 and 2018 financial account, highlighting the enormous challenges on the year between the last AGM and now, coupled with the composite retirement of directors who have spent over 12 years. Felix Akabwe sold with a CBN increment of capital base of State Microfinance Bank to 1 billion era. The bank has decided to downsize to a unit tier one with capital base of 200 million. Mr. Habwe reiterated that, despite the challenges so far, the bank made profit and was able to declare a 10% bonus shares on all shareholders. We made profit, that's why we have something to share. I want to believe subsequent years we are going to do better. The new leadership that has just come about will work very hard with the management and staff of the bank to ensure that our bank makes profit for the owners. Some members who said the main objective of the microfinance bank is to grow the economy through giving out loans and other facilities to small and medium scale businesses. This cannot be compelled to those ones because of the contribution and the way people freely uh, discuss. This is brilliant and uh, I'm glad for it. I'm glad for it. It's a way forward from the norm to what is uh, about to take place in the bank of Uda Bank. Uda Microfinance Bank is a friendly bank. It's customer friendly. I can attest to that in and out of the bank. Relationship with member, the directors, members of the board, even the workers there. With the MD, there are now six directors on the board. And that one meets the minimum requirement of number of directors for Uda Microfinance Bank Limited. High point of the ceremony was the appointment of three members into the board of directors. They include Israel Highness Anthony Abmeru II, Onojo of Ekpoma, Professor Sonia Adagbonyi, Active Vice Chancellor of AAU Ekpoma, and Mr. David Omoregbe, former banker and businessman, to meet with the CBA requirements. The chairman has said that, despite the challenges experienced in the year under review, the bank is on a mission to ensure its viability. Ferdinand Ustakwe reporting.